So what we're going to do in this tutorial is figure out what is the surface area of this triangular prism. Now any triangular prism is composed of three rectangles and two triangular faces. And so what we're going to do is take a look at each one of these five objects that composes the triangular prism and figure out the area of each one of those and then just add those areas together. This rectangle is a 2 by 5 rectangle which would result in an area of 10. This rectangle is a 2 by 6 rectangle which would give us an area of 12. And this rectangle is a 2 by 5 rectangle which gives us an area of 10. Now with the triangular faces we should always be aware that with any triangular prism that the two triangles are going to be congruent to each other. So if we knew the area of this triangle we automatically know the area of the other triangle. But what I like to do in this situation is treat both triangles like a single parallelogram. If we take this triangle here and slide it right next to the one on the top, we can see that a parallelogram is formed. And when finding the area of any parallelogram, all we need to do is take the base of that parallelogram and multiply it by the height of the parallelogram. So looking at the base of our parallelogram starting at this point, we can see that it is a distance of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Now whenever you are measuring the length of a line that's located on top of a graph or a grid like this, make sure that where you start is 0 because we actually haven't moved any distance yet. We would say from this point to this point is a distance of 1. And make sure not to count the square units on the inside. Some people get confused by that. We are actually looking at distance in terms of from one point to another point. So the base of this parallelogram is 6 and the height of this parallelogram is 4. So we have a 6 by 4 parallelogram. And to find the area of any parallelogram, you just multiply its base times its height. And 6 times 4 is 24. So the combined area of the two triangular faces is 24 square units. And the combined area of the three rectangles is 32 square units. So if we combine those two figures together, we have a result of 56 square units which is the total area of all five surfaces of the triangular prism.